Hi everybody, this is Otis T. Campbell, and I am honored to be a part of your learning process here. Here's classwork quiz number 48, so let's pause this so you guys can write this down and take care of your, your classwork quiz number 48. All right, after the you've finished that, it probably took you 10 to 20 minutes. Let's do uh, begin. This is uh, part two of section 6-1, equations in slope-intercept form. And uh, so section A, we're going to graph each equation. Here's the first one, y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 4. Remember, this negative 2 thirds is the slope, and this plus 4 is the y-intercept. So I'm going to go ahead, and that's where it crosses the y-axis. I'm going to go ahead and put in that plus 4 right there on the y-axis, okay? Then I'm going to use the slope. Remember, slope is rise over run. So from this point, I'm going to go down 2 and to the right 3 and put another point, okay? So down 2 to the right 3. Go ahead and connect them up. Don't forget to write the equation on the line right there, okay? Let's try this one. 3x minus 4y equals 12. All right, on this one, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and do the, the intercept method. So the intercept method is when you let x equal 0 and we let y equal 0. Now look, you guys, when x equals 0, the 3x disappears. It's 3 times 0, so pretend like it's not there. And you have negative 4y equals 12, so negative 4 goes into 12, negative 3 times. Now if I let y equal 0, you get rid of the negative 4y, go ahead and put that 3x back in, and you get uh, 3x equals 12, so x must be 4. So I'm going to graph those two points right there, and then connect them up and write the equation of the line. Alright, okay, this one is write an equation in slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, that passes through the given points. Okay, so here's this one, through the uh, 0, negative 2, and 5, comma 4. Okay, and that's our goal, y equals mx plus b. All right, okay, remember, if it goes 0, comma anything, if, if 0 comes first, this is your b. That's automatically your b. So that tells me that b equals negative 2 right there, okay? So now I know this, you guys, y equals mx minus 2. All right, now we just got to get the slope. Remember, slope formula, y sub 2 minus y sub 1 equals x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So it's uh, 4 minus a minus 2 over 5 minus 0 gets me 6, because 4 minus minus 2 is 4 plus 2, 6 over 5, and that's what goes in front of that, so y equals 6 fifths x minus 2. All right, let's try this one. Okay, the only reason I did this one is because it's a fraction, and you guys kind of freak out on fractions, but you should be getting good on this. Don't let them scare you. You guys are okay with this. I know you are. We've been working on it for a long time. Uh, okay, so again, you guys, I know that if it goes 0, comma something, that something is my plus b. So I know it's going to be y equals mx plus 5. All right, let's get the slope. Okay, y sub 2 minus y sub 1. So the second y right here minus the first y is 1 minus 5 over the second x minus the first x. Okay, so far, okay. Well, don't let it scare you. 1 minus 5 is negative 4. Okay, when you have something like this, it's the same as the top one divided by the bottom one. So it's the same as negative 4 divided by 3 halves. And remember, when you divide fractions, you flip the second one and multiply. And then go ahead and multiply. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. And then 1 times 3 is negative, uh, or is 3. So there's your answer. Y equals negative 8 thirds X plus 5. Piece of cake, you guys. All right. Okay, so here's uh, section C. Find the value of M or B if the line goes through the point, okay? So we don't, in this one, we don't know what m is. We know what b is. b is at negative 1. Okay, so here it goes through this x point, so I'm going to put x in right there. And uh, it goes through this y point, so I'm going to put y in right there. And I'm going to solve this equation for m. All right, so, okay, so here we go. I'm going to put in uh, y equals 3 and x equals 6 in the appropriate spots. Okay, it's the m times 6 is the same as 6m. So now I'm going to go ahead and go plus 1 plus 1 to get rid of that 1 because I'm solving for m. And I get 4 equals 6m. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 6. Okay, and then don't forget to start canceling. 2 goes into 4 twice, into 6 3 times, so m equals 2 thirds. All right, it seems like it's hard, but it's really not. Just trust yourself. Plug in the points. You guys can do it, you guys. Just plug them in. I know you guys can. I've been working with you for a long time. Okay, some more fractions. You guys can do this. I know you can. All right, substitute in your y and your x's right there. All right, now you can go ahead and cancel the 2 and the 4 if you want, but I'm not going to because I'm just going to multiply 4 times 3 because I have 11 halves over there, and I'm going to have to subtract it. So they already have common denominators, so I'm going to go ahead and subtract that 2. Oops, that, this is supposed to be uh, 12 right here. I forgot to change that part right there. I made a mistake on my earlier video. 
This is supposed to be a 12 right here. Right here is supposed to be a 12. Hold on, hold on. Okay. And then so I subtract uh, uh, two 12ths on both sides. And then when I subtract 11 12ths minus 2 12ths, I get uh, a negative 1 half because 11 minus 12 is negative 1. And then right here is your assignment that matches that. 